Yes, good evening, ladies, tonight. Good evening, our viewers watching us. You're welcome to Realities of Life show. And I'm your very host, Angelica. And tonight we have an amazing topic we're sharing with you guys, understanding your love languages. And you know, the reason for this show is for you to experience the truth about life. So tonight with me, I have beautiful ladies on the show with me tonight. Can you say hi to our audience tonight? Molola, Jackie, say hi to Hello. our viewers tonight. Hello, everyone. Um, Hello, Hello, everyone. Hi. Hello, welcome to the Realities of Life show again. I'm so excited. And you can see also the ladies are excited for us to share tonight's topic. Now, our topic says understanding your love language. Hmm. I'm sure everybody wants to be loved. I mean, ladies, tell me, tell me, tell me. Everybody wants to be loved, right? Yes, yes, everybody yes. Everybody wants to be loved. So yes. please, our viewers tonight, you can drop your name and your location where you're watching from. And please drop questions, any question that you want to ask us tonight concerning this. Because earlier I had gone live and I shared with you guys that Understanding your love language is not just for couples or for people who are intending to get married, but for every individual who wants to be loved. And understanding each person and different people's love languages helps to build healthy and better relationship. Now, the concept of um, love languages was discovered by Dr. Gray Tapman, and he said that there are five different love languages. We have acts of service, we have um, of word affirmation, we have um, receiving gifts, we have um, physical touch, we also have um, quality time. So different um, different people have different things that make them feel loved. So um, ladies tonight, I will start with um, Jackie. Um, please, how do you know, um, how do you know um, what your love language is? You know, how do you know what your love language is? You're muted. Sorry about that. To that you then to confirm is that love languages are real, that they are there and they exist. Just like the word love on its own, it's on not only a noun, but it's also a verb. It's something to do, something that has to do with you feeling it. So people do have preferences. How you can know is like your own fingers, your own hands. They've got the little finger, there's the big fingers, that one, and there's the thumb. They are all different, but it's all part of one thing that is love, part of your hand. But love languages, they are real. It's something that is there for sure. People do have preference of how they feel loved and cared for by their partners. So how you can know your love language is how the way you consider, the way you express affection for others, how you feel when you do something for others, what makes you happy? Just like our sister Angelica said, there are five types of love language. The word of affirmation, how you feel when somebody says, I love you. The way you express it, how you feel when somebody says, oh, you look so good, how somebody encourages you. The way you feel, it's how it can confirm which one is your love language. It can be even the act of service, like she said. This may be like the small thing, like somebody helping you to take the food off from the freezer. And you feel like, oh, somebody really helped me and you feel pampered, you feel loved. Or it may be even something like to receive gifts. When you are somebody who likes to have a personalized item, it means that is your love language. You know, when you're having your birthday or it's an occasion and somebody gives you a personalized gift with your name on it, just in chrome, and the way you feel, it means that is your love language. You appreciate more to receive gifts. And also some people like quality time. Mostly like for couples, not in the way, when you spend time with somebody to get to know them, how you feel that, oh, this person loves me because they are spending their time, they're taking their time off. So that's how you can also tell that which one is your love language. The last one is a uh, physical touch. How you can know if whether it is physical touch, that is your love language. How you feel when somebody, if somebody likes to cuddle, you know, some people just like to be close to people, to cuddle. Some people likes to have their hands being holded. When you are walking somewhere or you are just there, they want somebody to hold their hand. It means your love language is you just want a touch. You are somebody who likes physical touch. So that is your love language, how you feel somebody really loves you when they hold your, their hand or when they cuddle you. So, but like I said, love 
have languages, they are, they, they are real and they are all different, but how you can get to know which one is yours is how you feel. It has to do with the feeling, with the expression when somebody does all those five things for you. So you can really put it into consideration and start to think, and uh, what makes you really happy yourself? And what do, how do people react? How, what makes you to feel that I'm being loved? Is it the word of affirmation? When somebody says, I love you, do you want to keep hearing it every day, every day, and you feel, oh, I'm being loved? Or you want somebody who just helps you with the chores and you feel, yes, I'm appreciated without that word love, without somebody saying, I love you, I love you. If you only see somebody helping you fold the clothes and like, oh, this is love. Oh, you are somebody who, who likes gifts. If somebody, let's say it's your birthday, and I just come and say, oh, Sister Lola, happy birthday, just like affirming it, and I don't give you anything, will you really feel loved? So it shows that if you appreciate somebody giving you that special pen or that special chocolate with your name, it means how you feel loved is when you receive. It's like also in our Lord Jesus Christ in the book of John 3, verse 16, God gave. That was his love language. He was a giver. He loved to give. That's how he loved to show his affection. Or it can be like just quality time, like we're doing here. I feel pampered because I'm with you ladies. I feel, oh, I'm in love. I am loved because you are spending time with me. It can also be touch, like I'm saying. Somebody just to hold your hand or a high five. You know, there are people when they are talking all the time, they reach out to people. Like when it's a joke or something, mm. <laughs> they laugh and they reach out or they pet you. When it's something, <laughs> they pet. It means those people, their love language, how they express, trust you, me, it's physical yes. touch. They yearn yes. physical touch. Once they do that, they feel, yes, here it mm. goes. So that's some of the things you need to know. It just needs to, 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 to look around and see. And love language, yeah. like I tell you, sometimes mm. it's not only one. It can yes. be two, it can be yeah. three. So yes. it just try to look, it may be depending with who you are relating it to. Maybe it's your husband, maybe it's your friends, yes. it's your family. So it cannot only be limited to one thing specific. It can yeah. be a virus thing altogether amongst yeah. the five. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, exactly. You know, every everybody has um, different love language. Most times it comes with our personalities, who we are and how mm. we want to be treated. So now, um, Molola, tell me, do these love languages change? Like when it comes to couples and um, your friends, do the way they want to be loved, does it change over time? Is it, for example, for um, you are married, yes. And I'm sure you understand your husband's um, love language. And since both of you has been together, has it been the same? Has it changed over the years? Um, with people who've been your friends over the years, the way you've tried to show love to them over the years, has it changed the way they um, respond to it to actually show that, yes, I feel loved the way um, Molola is treating me? What do you have to say about that? Okay, yeah, thank you for the opportunity. Hmm. So love language, does it change? Um, I do not yes. think it, it will change because there is that little baby in you that is looking for that thing, right? Right, that needs yes. to be catered to via that okay. language. So to me, I don't think it changes, but the approach or the way it is gotten might change, all right? So if, um, and for me, it comes down to communication. We need yes. to know each other's love languages. And if we're not getting it, yes then we need to create yes. a system whereby we, got, we get it. Do we ask for it or do yes. we um, replicate it or do we show it so that the other party can yeah. reflect what we have done, all right? So we eventually get what we want, okay. all right? Or do we uh, actually okay. get materials because it depends on who you're dealing with. How does that person take in information? How do they learn? How do they get yes. educated? So when we are dealing with how can this love language change? To me, I don't think it can change, but the way you can get it might be different. You might need to be strategic to understand first the personality of the person you're dealing with. For okay. example, and he's not a talking person. He's not a wordy kind of person. So, you know, I feel teasing him I think about two weeks ago that see when we were <laughs> when we were dating so 
to the glory of God, we're 18 years in our wed marriage, and we dated for quite a while before that. So I would say about 25 years ago, 26 years ago, it was saying, wow. um, <laughs> yeah, it was telling wow. me, oh, yeah, that um, I really have a want to say, I really want, I want to really let you understand how much I love you. But with time, you will know, and with the time, I will say it. So two weeks ago, I was telling you, I'm like, you know what? That's like 26 years ago. I'm still waiting for you to really say it. Right? <laughs> so, but how do I know? There are some things he does, right? Like I know him. I also, like, it's not a talker. He doesn't talk. He doesn't, um, okay. he's strategically shy, right? So okay. now, does he understand what I want? He does because I've okay. communicated. Um, now, am I going to change his personality to give me no. what I want? No. But am no. I going to be strategic about how I make him give it to me? Yes. Based on kind of person? Yes. Yes. So I, my love language did not change. I still want what I want. Okay. How make the other party give it to me? Yes. Is what is, uh, I think, key in this situation? So, yes. um, other okay. questions. Okay, um, no, the other question, no, uh, we'll get to the other question, but not now. So okay, okay, okay. we'll get no, to the no, other no. question, not now. Yeah. No, 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 I, like you asked, um, you talked about it in two different ways. There was one other, uh, like addendum you had it also. Okay, maybe not. Okay, have okay. I answered? Okay, question? no. Yes, you are, you've answered the question, but okay. what I also want to add to what you have said tonight is that um, even though that for you, as a couple, it wouldn't have changed. But in general, in a general perspective of a whole lot of people, some people's love language do change as they get older. You know, some of the things that um, they would appreciate when they were much younger for couples, it could change as they get older. And for um, people who are your friends and people that you work with, maybe in your workplace, who could like um, appreciate that you give them a gift um, that is their birthday, which it might not import, might not be their love language, but they would appreciate if you could, you know, spend time with them away from work, like seeing them with a sad face and like really caring, not just because they are your colleagues in the workplace and going out of your way to like stretch a hand to them to find out exactly what is going on with their lives, you know, which is quality time, which could be actually that person's love language. So what actually does for us is that it builds our relationship, not just with our partners, but for people, for family members, for our colleagues and the people that we meet, you know, as we, uh, in our day-to-day -day interaction. So that said, um, I'll move over to you now, Jackie. Do this, um, are these love languages real? Like, are they real to you? You know, is it real to you? Like, you know, some people like, oh, this love language thing, is it really real? Does it really work? Um, how are you sure that you're doing this, that the person truly really loves you? Do you think it's real? Yes, for you me, know, I think not? I yeah. Yes, I believe, and I think for me, from my own point, is I, I believe they are real. They are real because, we, 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 for example, for married people, the only way to do it is, like she, my sister said, Sister Lola, is through communication, how you know the love language of your partner. But how you get to do it is mm -hmm. to, to travel through the journey of love. You need to understand which one it is. And they are real, mm -hmm. whether you like it or not. All five of them, we do them all the time. They are part of our everyday and life. But it just depends which yeah. one makes you feel more which one is of the your most one which you feel more valued because all five of them i trust you yes. me we use them every time words of affirmation we tell them acts yes. of service we do it we receive we send gifts we receive yes. gifts quality time we spend with our family with our lovers physical touch you touch your baby you touch your cousins they are all there all the time yes. but so it means they are real they are real practical in our lives 
We, we use them all the time, but like we said, it's just a matter of you discovering which one is the most one for you. Which one do you prefer? Which one makes you feel, yes. oh, if I have this one, I am settled. All yes. the other four will come, but this one yes. is the one that you think that it is the most important for you. So, so they which are one is your love language? Now tell me, Jackie. Uh -huh. <laughs> Can you guess which one is mine? <laughs> Can I mine guess? One. Can you guess? Um, words of affirmation. Yes. Wow. Yes. Words of affirmation. For me, I like to hear it. When you say it, it makes me bright. Yes. Even if you just saying it to affirm it to me, to tell me, and I've had it in my ear, I, I, okay. you, you have done the part. Although the other things, I also like them, the acts of service. I like okay. the quality time. I like okay. the gifts, of course. But the number one is affirmation. When okay. I hear you saying it to me that you love me, you appreciate me, oh, <laughs> it melts me. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yes, oh my goodness. Same you. here to I my um love language is affirmation, word of affirmation. I want to hear it. Yes. Like my hobby can call me like how many times in a day when he's at work and he will tell me I love you till date. This is this year is 16 years, and it's like I want to hear it all the time. So anytime he calls me at the end, I love you, I love you too. I want to hear it, you know. And for me, he knows that. I love to be celebrated. So, and on his own, he loves to celebrate me and it's not just celebration as in giving me gifts, not that I don't appreciate gifts, but he will like, you know, oh, my beautiful wife, my this, my dad, and my like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Because that is me. I love to hear those words. That is who I am. So um, Lola, tell us, what's your, what's your love language? What do you like? Is it what self-affirmation? Is it, you're muted. What's your love language? Oh, I've got a lot. <laughs> <laughs> but one, there is one that is A-list. There is one that is number one. It's A-list. Um, we're still working on it. And that's words of affirmation. Like, oh, yeah, we still get the, you know, I love you and all that. But like okay. I said, my husband is not a very expressive type expressive of person. person. Okay. But I allow him. So mm. other things, acts of service. For me okay. like um quality time okay. also for me gifts okay. i don't even care about the value of the gifts it's yes, just exactly and acknowledging that oh i'm celebrating you with this just a token okay. matters yeah. to but words yeah. of affirmation uh, it's very important because um yeah. it, it could make a dead flower blossom exactly you could say that again <laughs> yeah so for our viewers watching us tonight please drop your um comments in the com comment section um share with us what's your um love language how do you want to be loved you know based on the things that we have shared tonight people are different and people want to be loved differently you know your partner how does he feel loved you know being with him all this while what do you think you should do differently to make him feel loved and also your colleagues that you work in the workplace what do you think is their love language what are the things that you do that get them excited get them happy because when you find those things that you do them while you work as a team in your place of work it builds um stronger relationship better network for you so if you have any of this please share with us in the comment section and we will respond to you now molola tell me can I a relationship work if you have different love languages what do you think you know, can a relationship work if you have, you know, different love languages? Lola, can you hear me? Sorry, I missed that. What did you say? Okay, I said, can a relationship work if you have different love languages? Oh, yes, for sure. It can work. Uh, okay. It's just like marriage, right? Yeah. Where different people coming together to work together, to make something work out. Mm -hmm. So what's your own love language? This is it. Uh, what's the other party's love language? You know it. Then the two of you work together to make sure it's working for you. It's just simply yeah. the definition of marriage or the definition of, um, uh, I don't want to mm -hmm. say it in the context of marriage or alone. Like it could be with a friend, okay. it could be uh, even with family members, it could be mm -hmm. with your colleagues, understanding what pleases mm -hmm. the other person. 
do I have, if I have a colleague that yeah. likes black times, for example, sorry, yes. not something, for example, who really likes, sorry, uh, who loves flowers, okay. whenever wrong with her, just give her flowers okay. and that it's like you brighten and her face. So for me, understanding oh the feeling bit and what it takes to bring mm. that um, yeah. shine to them. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that, okay. that's, that, that's, yeah, I totally, yeah, I totally agree with you. I mean, people with different love languages can coexist in the workplace, can be married, you know, and have a beautiful and blossoming marriage. All you need to do is to find out what makes your partner loved, what makes your partner special, and just do it for them. Because just like um, Lola said, we are two individuals with two different personalities. We're brought up differently. All you need to do is to really find out what makes that person special, what makes that person loved, and do that for them. Like we shared earlier in the beginning of the show, we said we have different five, we have five love languages. We have word of affirmation, you know, um, does the person want to hear that they are loved? Say it to them. We have quality time. If the person wants to spend time, create time from your tight schedule and spend time with that loved, that um, your loved one. Is it um, receiving gifts? The person loves to receive gifts. It's not about the prize of that gift. It's about the thought that you went out and remember to get something for that person. Okay. It's also um, acts of service. The person likes to be helped. You know, for those who are married, you know, if you're someone who, whose love language is act of service, you want your partner to help you at times to do a few things at home or things that you need to do outside of home. It really shows that he loves you or she loves you and you are in that relationship with them. So our viewers tonight, um, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much, Lola. Thank you so much, Jackie. It's been a wonderful time. And we're going to continue in this episode again next month which is um, the last episode for this season two. We're still going on understanding your love language and we'll be focusing on receiving gifts as one of the love languages because we know that we're heading through the Christmas season. time and it's the time we love to give, we like to share, even though that is not their love language, they want to receive a gift during Christmas. So we'll be talking about that and if you're following us on this page, better stay tuned because we have something special coming for you in the month of November. We're going to do, ladies, should I share with them? Should I share with them? Okay, yes. I will give it to myself first. But <laughs> you keep following us on this page. We have an announcement coming for December, sorry, for November, which is the concluding um, season for this year's um, Realities of Life show. We will not be coming live first week in First Friday in November, we'll be coming towards the ending of November before December so, so that we can wow you, our viewers, with what we have on understanding your love languages and the gifts, them um, receiving gifts. So thank you so much, Molola. Thank you so much, Jackie. It was awesome having you. Thank I you so much, you. our viewers that tuned in tonight. I look forward to having you all again in the month of November. So... Good night, everyone. Hey. Thank you so much. Good, Good night. night. Good Bye. night. See you next month. I Bye. love you all. <laughs>